Hundreds of loved ones, friends, and fellow troopers say goodbye to one of their own. Today, Ohio State Trooper Andrew Baldrige was killed on Thursday after an accident while he was on duty. Now, this morning, he was laid to rest in his hometown of Cary. Allison Brown joins us now with the outpouring of support from the community. Well, it really seems like Cary was shut down today because everyone was at the funeral, even Governor Strickland, remembering a man who was taken too soon. Trooper Andrew Baldridge's body was brought out of Our Lady of Consolation this morning as hundreds of people in Wyandotte County tearfully paid their respects. The fact that everybody's taking this so hard is a true testament to what a wonderful person he was. Everybody loved Andy. Uh, he made friends easy. Wyandotte County Sheriff Mike Hetzel has known the 25-year-old for a long time. He was devastated when he found out Baldridge lost control of his cruiser on Township Highway 95 near Cary while assisting Wyandotte County on a call. He was pronounced dead at the scene. When someone like this, it's, it is family because it's home. It's the guys you work and, and play with every day, and they are your friends. And, and just the camaraderie is unbelievable. And that bond is strong. Authorities from all over Ohio, even different states, came to this funeral honoring Baldridge's memory. Really? Andy was going to be more than a trooper. Andy's ultimate goal, Andy was going to be superintendent. He was going to be colonel of the state I patrol. Now, training officer Mark McLaughlin, who was a passenger during the accident, is out of the hospital. The crash is under investigation. Reporting live, Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News. All right, thanks, Allison. A new restaurant in downtown Toledo honored Trooper Baldrige this morning during its grand opening. Customers at Andrew Z's Express Pizzeria donated the money they would normally have spent on a cup of coffee to a special fund in Andrew Baldrige's name. Andrew Z's Express Pizzeria also served free breakfast this morning. That new restaurant located on the corner of Adams and St. Clair downtown.